Hey, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna go through doing an engine flush on a the 2007 uh, PT Cruiser. It's the non-turbo 2.4 liter. It's a manual transmission. Gonna be using some uh, liquid Molly engine flush. Gonna be putting that in here in a second. I've been noticing after I did the valve covers. Uh, the, or the valve cover gasket and the spark plug ring boot gaskets like I still have a little loss of oil going on uh, slowly so I'm gonna give this a whirl and see if this uh, doesn't fix the problem so here we go all right I got the cap off let's go ahead and add her to her let's see It says uh, to add the whole 500 milliliter bottle of this, which they do in metric. That's 500 milliliter uh, to three or five quart, three to five quart. So I'm gonna add the whole thing here, and then uh, it doesn't really have instructions on this, but I'm gonna go with what I've seen a lot of people use for the for the method of uh, cleaning out your engine with this stuff and uh, I'm gonna run it at 2,000 rpm for about 15 minutes and uh, see what it does so before I get too far along I do want to say it's good to check your oil um, this oil is like practically brand new still uh, I did just run the oil may not be able to see it on there Oop. but yeah it's it's a little low but it's above the minimum right now can't really see in the video but and it still looks real fresh here you can see maybe on my finger it's real windy out today that's the oil see it's pretty clear still so that's what we're starting with All right, so I'm gonna start her up. Run her at about 2,000 RPM for 15 minutes. And I'll check back with you guys here in a little bit. So it's been about halfway through eight minutes. I've changed it to about 2,500 RPM instead of 2,000 RPM. And uh, this is the current mileage for this engine flush. It's at 234,379 miles. Uh, once I get all this done, I'll kind of do a uh, update video, I think, and let you know whether or not it's improved on reducing the amount of oil consumption. Uh, right now, it's probably at about uh, core or less per every thousand miles I tried the AT205 to reseal the like valve stem seals thinking maybe the oil was getting past that which maybe that's part but I, I put a couple bottles in so that should have done that but I did still notice a loss so I'm gonna do everything I can and see if we can't get rid of this uh, oil consumption yeah that That'd be awesome. The airbag light just came on. And that's the only light that comes on. But it comes on like after about 10 minutes. And again, I think it's because uh, there's maybe a, a sensor. One of these sensors need either to be cleaned with electrical connector spray or... Uh, just need to be replaced but that's the only issue this thing has that that's kind of annoying I guess because it makes a little chime all right we're getting close to that time I did notice while doing this that it seems like the engine is uh, holding steadier 
while I keep my foot on the gas uh, and it sounds like it's uh, not choking out as much like a compression issue possibly you know on a one or more of the cylinders all right there's our there's our time all right. ah, she's idling nice all right so I'm gonna take the uh, engine flush oil out put some cheap super tech in and then put the high quality stuff back in after that and we're gonna see what each of these things looks like so I should probably mention I need to turn the oil or turn the engine off <laughs> it's gonna be pretty warm all right here we are it's pretty warm under here um, let's go ahead and get this I have an oversized uh, oil drain plug on this because uh, yeah, the threads on this with the stock size oil plug kind of came out about three years ago so I had to go a little size bigger on this but we're gonna see if this baby uh, we're gonna cooperate or this should be a pretty pretty uh, viscous fluid I think or whatever you call it with that engine flush in there yeah it's uh, coming out pretty liquidy let's see try to get this oil pan there's some wind going on right now it's making it a little difficult yeah look how dark that is that this fresh oil too pretty much oh yeah she's kind of dark oh that wind is making it rough i think i'm just gonna let it go like that for a bit just because of that wind oh yeah <laughs> She's kind of nasty. Coming out pretty dark. That engine plus did something. There's some stuff here for sure. This engine may never have been flushed before. This could be good for her. Might be getting all that carbon off around the rings that's what I'm hoping not trying to make a mess in the driveway here so I don't want to go too fast only got one hand to guide the thing once it starts coming out if I open up that plug full blast it's going to shoot way back there Might be able to position it right. The wind kind of stopped for the moment, so let's see if we can't get this in there. Yee! Well, I might just leave it alone. It's going pretty quick right now. over the place flush and run uh, some cheap oil through it real quick well I'll show putting the good mobile one back in I don't know if I can get this one-handed or not <sighs> maybe not okay here we're back got a sorry gotta get this filter off Alright, I got a little head start on it. Let the 
oil wrench. It's hard to show on video with the little do hooky thing right there. Let's see. I don't know if I did enough. I have to do a little more. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can do it one handed or not on video. I don't think I can. Oh, maybe. Yeah, there we go. A little bit. Uh, she's turning. She's going. Get off of there, you doohickey. There we go. Maybe I can get it by hand now. Okay, she's turning. Let's see. Is this going to make a big mess with this wind? I get the feeling it is. There it goes. It's going where I don't want it to go. It's all over the place. Of course. Let's try. See what happens when I open it up. Get in the oil pan. That's where I want you. She's pretty much off now. Alright. There we go. She's all hot. Hot and liquidy. Alright. Yeah, that looks like it's coming out nice. What's that look like in there? Brand new, because it is still pretty much. Can't use it now, though. She's done now. She only had like a thousand miles on her. Oh well. Too bad. Got to get this oil plug back off again. Let out whatever's left in there. Get out in here. Let's see if I can actually video what I'm trying to talk about. It's still coming out and the wind is going great. The wind is not in my favor right now. But I'm just going to let that go right there. Hopefully stays kind of in the pan. Not really. Uh, there we go. Let's see, she's going all over the place. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this oil and uh, pour it into this waste flush thing. And I gotta close this garage because it is just too windy. It's super annoying. It's gonna make a mess. But I'm not gonna show it on camera because I can't hold two hands in there. But this is the oil that was basically brand new just a second ago. And after running that engine flush, look how dirty it is. It looks like it already has 5,000 miles on it. I'm going to pour it in there, try to get that uh, washer back for my oil drain plug, see if it's any good. Might be able to use it again. Those, it's a hard plastic one. And um, see if there's any metal or anything in here. Hopefully not, but we're going to find out here in a second. All right, so I discovered that this is going to take a long time to do this but here's my first kind of filter paper towel and uh, you can see that there's not really any sparklies in there just a little moisture looking stuff and a lot of it's real dark this one's still taking a while to go through my second uh, rag and these other rags are just from all the mess I was making this rag is one of the filter rags and I still got about half a quart or less to try to filter out and see if there's any heavy material in that now in the meantime while that's pouring out I'm just gonna throw some of this partial synthetic 5w30 the cheaper stuff at Walmart before I put in the high quality stuff and we're gonna run that through once for a little bit Oop, if I can make it in there and pour my oil right it's kind of hard one-handed fill her up with some of this stuff and start her up get this running through there flush it once with this and put the good stuff in all right let her run for a bit with that 
other stuff while I uh, filter out the rest of that other oil and see if I can get her to get her to see if I can see any material or stuff in that. She's running good. A little noise going on. Well, I ran through two of these. The good news is I don't see any metal pieces. I do see a lot of debris that I think came into my oil pan from the wind and gravel in the garage here. But all those big pieces are just sticks and gravel that I think got kicked into the oil pan. Because it, it wasn't a fresh sample oil pan, but there's no little sparklies that I see. But I think I see little black pieces of possibly carbon deposit that could have been around the oil oil ring there's a little black pieces I I think the shiny stuff is is actually gravel I didn't start with the best test sample oil pan because it was it wasn't clean when I started it using it so that wasn't the best but it's definitely working I think it's definitely cleaning stuff out of the the engine all right so she's been running about 15 20 minutes now she's got some clicking going on more a little bit but that, we're gonna dump that cheap oil out and see what it looks like here in Alright, let's knock this guy off. Alright, let's see. She glows nicely. She looks pretty clean. Looks like fresh oil. Still. Little gunky. The wind's not being as much of a pain this time. Well, I missed. But she still looks pretty dirty for just being fresh brand new oil. But so that engine stuff is, the engine flush is definitely getting some stuff out. All right, so this is the quality oil filter and oil that I like to use. Project Farm, if you've ever heard of his channel, he uh, tests this stuff out right here. And uh, it works really good, but you got to get the high mileage version. Make sure you do get the high mileage version of the full synthetic, uh, it's the extended performance uh, name. Um, for my PT Cruiser, it's 5W30 is what it, out, it recommends. You can look on the oil cap and see that. And then for giggles, I'm just going to put a new uh, little gasket on here for now. And... Uh, Hopefully uh, we solve the problem, but uh, I'll start her up here in a, in a second once it's finished dripping out. It's still dripping a little bit of the musket stuff, and it's dark already. You can kind of see it. And I'll just put that back in there. I'll probably put a little Marvel Mystery Oil in there too. It's always good. We don't know. Even though we don't know what's in it, it's a mystery. But it works, I guess. Just watch on Project Farm. His channel it kind of shows it. It actually does do some work. Another little note, and I may have said this in my other video, but usually it's a good idea to take your finger, get a little oil on it, and dribble a little bit and have a bead of oil around the gasket. Helps it seal 
we need to do put on the next oil filter. All right, that's the old oil. Well, the in between one, the the conventional cheaper stuff. Now we're gonna put this uh, high mileage stuff in. And pour it right this time. One handed. And then we're gonna put all this in because uh, it says to leave a little room when you put the Marvel Mystery Oil in for some of that. So I'll probably use about four and a quarter quarts of this and then I'll top it off with some Marvel Mystery Oil here in a second. Alright, here's a little Marvel. Get some of that in there. Nice red color. Ooh, making a mess a little bit. Finish her off with that. Smells nice. Alright. Alright. Let's turn her on. Oh yeah. She sounds good. Oh yeah. Alright. That concludes the video. Everyone have a good day. God bless.